the pleasure of speaking with Greg Andrews from Search Minerals. How are you today, Greg? I'm very well. Thank you, Tracy. Now, Greg, you've just put out a mineral resource announcement recently. How about we start there? Sure, Tracy. We just updated our resource for Deep Fox and Foxtrot, um, which, which will be used really for our next catalyst being our preliminary economic assessment report, which is due out in the next 30 to 45 days based on that information. So we're really excited. And that's, in our opinion, is really going to reset the value and the understanding of, of just the significance of our deposits, the Foxtrot and Deep Fox in our, um, in our district in Southeast Labrador. And for those of you out there that are trying to be trendy and follow the latest and greatest rare earth companies in the world, this is one of the top five companies in North America to be looking at. Everyone is, every expert says this. Greg, what are we looking forward to hearing in the next 30 days? Is it 30 days or two months that we get the big news that we're all waiting for? Yeah, so we've, we've been very upfront and really talking about why this PEA is significant for us. Our last preliminary economic assessment report was in 2016, and it only dealt with the Foxtrot property and a production rate of 1,000 tons per day. And it was a 14 year like mine, just based on our resource here. Our resource is now looking, we, we will be doubling our production rate to 2000 tons per day, which is significant. The Deep Fox resource had 15% higher grades, which is significant. And more importantly, just on the resource values, you can see that the lifetime of the mine has increased from just a Foxtrot of 14 years to a combined of up to, you know, 29 to 30 years. So that's that's really a generational deposit just on those two deposits alone in our in our 63 kilometer district. Uh, an analyst in our in our industry sector wrote me just earlier today that you have three projects that as they race towards pro production should increase your valuation, but that most people don't know you have another five projects. What's he what is he talking about? Uh, what he's talking about is the work that we've been doing in Fox Meadow, which is, is 63 kilometers away from our Deep Fox and Foxtrot, and really how we explain our surface expression with Dr. Randy Miller, who has been with us since day one, is our surface expression on Foxtrot is about 400 meters by 10 meters. Our Deep Fox was 400 meters by 30 meters wide, which, of course, that's what we wanted to ensure the drilling validated that. And the Fox metal that we're working at, uh, we've we've announced last month, last year that it's so far looking to be 800 meters long by up to 100 meters wide. So that's at, on channel. So we're looking forward to doing a drill program later in the season, also this year, to validate again those lengths and 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 widths of that property potential. I saw your name come across my screen as well. There's a quote in a Globe and Mail. A Reuters article about the recent Ottawa federal budget and what it actually means. And they were quoting you, Greg. Uh, what's that all about? Well, they, they phoned because, you know, the budget is, um, you know, it did mention the critical minerals. And, and you know, a few years ago, they, they defined the critical minerals. And now they're looking to see what, what's the benefit of having a property in the critical minerals. And one of the key things that we talked about in this is, a 30% mineral tax, critical minerals tax incentive credit. Now we don't have all the details on that, but that, that's gonna spur some investment into all critical minerals, but rarest in particular there's, um, so that, that's really the game changer for us that we look at is once again, it, investor interest coming into this space. As we look at the uh, third party uh, supply deficits that are, are, you know, we're hearing from 16,000 tons per year deficits by 2030 to up over 60,000 tons uh, NDPR deficits. So we're right in a upward trending and having a reliable source inside of Canada uh, is really appealing to the really the international markets. So, Greg, when that PEA comes out, promise me that you'll call us first for an interview and an update. Will do, Tracy. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much.